Hey guys, I'm Jerry. I'm Sierra. We're ladies and we tangent. What's, What's up, everyone? everyone? Hello. Hello. How are we doing? Okay. Are we doing good? No. Um, <laughs> we're doing, we're doing. What's going on? Talk um, to me. I'm self conscious about my socks because I'm really dirty on the bottom. Oh. I mm. just wore them around my house, but that bitch does not get swept. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, mine neither. Ooh. Anyways. Yeah. Um, Ollie got a haircut today. Okay. My sister came over to cut his hair and he was sitting in oh, um, I was, Randy. <laughs> I'm thinking Sam. I was like, she's not qualified. For <laughs> no, Randy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which I've been cutting Ollie's hair and I'm definitely not qualified <laughs> for that. She got here and she's like, okay, I need scissors. I'm like, I got scissors. I did get them at the grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if, if that'll work. She's like, it's going to be fine. These are kitchen scissors. <laughs> it wasn't. They were hair cutting scissors, okay. but um, they were next to the tampons. So <laughs> I'm not sure that I, maybe I needed to go to like an actual cos- cosmetology. I almost said cosmopology. That's not what it <laughs> <Cosmopolitan>. is. Cosmopolitan. <laughs> my mind is <laughs> elsewhere. Um, but she was like, do you have a comb? And I was like, comb? I don't know if I have a comb. She goes, you've been cutting his hair without a comb? How have you been doing that? I'm like, I just kind of like go at it with the scissors for as long as it'll let me. And honestly, I, I, I did you dirty. And you're going to have to do some correcting before you actually do any kind of legitimate hair cutting. But the reason I bring that up is because we were talking about dirty floors. Oh, yeah. And the floor was covered in hair. True. And he his hair is basically the same color as the floor. It's so yeah. <laughs> it's like dirty blondish brownish. Yep. And uh Forrest does this thing where I give him a, a a mat. They have these mats for toddlers as plates that are supposed to like be oh. silicone and sticky to the table mm-hmm. so they can't pick them up. Um <laughs> <laughs> I've seen so many videos of kids being like <laughs> <laughs> that's, ex- that's exactly what Forrest does. Yep. And he always throws his plate on the floor. He takes all of his food off, puts it on the table, and throws the plate on the floor. <laughs> He's like, fuck your plate. Such Honestly, Shane and I just had like a powwow. <laughs> <laughs> like, before fuck them you kids. got here. <laughs> yes. And I you just, have to. I felt so guilty about it because I'm like, I advocate for gentle, respectful parenting, and it feels very disrespectful to be have a fuck them kids I moment. Know, I was going to say, but like, is it not gentle to like talk shit behind the back? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> if you ever listen to this someday, Ollie and Forrest, you, you guys are kind of dicks. You guys are wonderful, but all toddlers are fucking assholes. I know. I love you, but can you stop? And remember I told you that that age, it, like, my patience. It's hard. Is it's so hard. It's all the time with that age. And I, I told Shane, now that I know that I'm a neurodivergent, mm-hmm. I know that unpredictability, uh, disrupted routines, uh, anything sensory overload, whether it's physical touch or food, which is or, just all toddlers. Do. Yes, and so it's like mm-hmm. triggering all day long. So I was giving myself a lot of grief. This is not what the episode's about. I was giving myself a lot of grief because I would get overwhelmed really quickly mm-hmm. and have no patience. Yeah, and then I remember. All of the things that trigger my anxiety <laughs> and my ADHD are what they're doing right is now. just their developmental <laughs> stage right now. Seriously. So it's like I'm in a constant battle with wanting to supplement their growth and development. But, but also, also I don't want to being like, why are you sticky? Are those peaches? You had peaches five days ago. <laughs> oh, Forrest came up to me from? and I'm like, that is an apple I definitely didn't cut today. <laughs> Not sure why you have that. <laughs> Where did you buy that? Mm-hmm. Oftentimes, the plate that he threw on the ground, mm-hmm. I will just put back up on the table. <laughs> Dude, at give this it a point, quick little. <laughs> they're so they're so fine. <laughs> That's how I'm like building really testing immune his immune system. <laughs> yeah, but today because all I got his haircut, I put the plate back up there, and I'm like, that is hair <laughs> all over that <laughs> silicone plate <laughs> because it's silicone. The hair really stuck to it, so I'm like, that should probably go in the sink. Oh, I definitely God. shouldn't see the hair and then put your food on it. <laughs> if I accidentally did it, that's one that's thing. An, that's just an accident. Oopsie. Yeah. <laughs> what are you gonna do about it? Yeah. Well, speaking of things that are you know neurodivergent and whatnot, uh-huh. guess who got diagnosed <gasps> with ADHD? You did. <laughs> did. Congratulations. Thank you. I've been waiting since I went. How back. validated do you feel? <sighs> you so, knew. I you did knew. Know. I did know. We all knew. The world <laughs> the knew. World, the world diagnosed me before I could diagnose myself. Yeah. But, oh, it's so nice. I, I had to talk to her about it because mm-hmm. 
I'm like, we're going to talk about motherhood and things of that nature. That's why I'm back here. It's yeah. funny because at first she was trying to talk to me about things when I first went. She's like, so is this still? I'm like, we're so past that. <laughs> we're <laughs> so past that. <laughs> yes. I figured all of that out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was like three years ago. Oh, yeah. We are moving on. That, well, that happens even weekly with me because <laughs> Barbara and I went bi-weekly instead of every single week. Yeah. And so she's like, so where are we at with this issue? And I was like, oh, Barbara, I wish that was still my problem. <laughs> <laughs> we are so far past that. Yeah. Yes. So I had to tell her, I was like, here's the thing. I think this is what is going on. And um, I need to know for sure yes. because it's affecting my life job mm-hmm. parenting everything yep. and i just need to know and she was like okay so we did the little thing yep and she was like yes a hundred percent she's like see i kind of already knew <laughs> from conversations we've had before <laughs> yeah. i'm like i'm all over the place i know mm-hmm. she's like you can't finish the sentence <laughs> and i'm like i don't know where you're going with that <laughs> one time she reminded me of this. I started four different sentences, never finished. <laughs> and she was just like, mm-hmm. <laughs> so she didn't want to diagnose me until I kind of like came with it. Yeah. But then we did and it was wonderful. Yeah. And now I feel like I can go get on medicine and feel okay yeah. with it. If I choose to, I think we had a lot of people when we talked about medication tell us about like how you can get medication for ADHD that also helps with anxiety. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think... That would be helpful because right now being on little sleep and everything that's going on in our Mm -hmm. career wise and then everything that's just going on with the world, with the holidays, with a new baby, with uh, people's schedules. And I feel like (laughs) you had anxiety and depression before you had all of this added stress. (laughs) So So it's like it didn't go away. No, this is a lot. That still lives in you. Yeah. And like when you're in the newborn phase. Mm -hmm. There's like a haze around it where I'm like, why is the world still going on? You mm-hmm. know what I mean? It's crazy. I'm like, wait, we're almost at Thanksgiving. We were supposed to stop at Halloween. Because I that's needed when a pause. My, <laughs> time out. That's when my world paused and yep. I've just been living in survival mode. Mm-hmm. So I was like, we have to, we got to figure this out, girl, because yeah. I'm not doing well. And well, so- and I think too, when, when you struggle with, um, maintaining a normal sleeping schedule or, mm-hmm. um, balancing your and no making routine. a schedule f- creating and sticking to a routine when you are trying to do these things that you feel like you should be able to do it helps to have someone say actually you have some hurdles yeah. <laughs> in your brain yeah girl. <laughs> that are preventing <laughs> you from being able to function like a neurotypical person would in the same situation yeah she so, makes me feel a little bit better that i get kind of mad when people ask me to go do a bunch of things like family members or whatever they're like oh we have this that we want to do do you want to come with us and then I almost get angry at them for asking me I'm like no I can't do do you not see what's going on in my life right now but she's like that's okay you're trying to develop a new routine and like it's okay that you're getting anxious and angry that yeah that's get keeps getting interrupted Mm -hmm. but other people's lives aren't stopping the way that yours is so like they don't know that you can't just yeah go do the thing and it's holidays so that's what people want to do let's do holiday things do you know which i'm not going shopping obviously (laughs) amazon hello well i went i went to the store today just to get out of my house (laughs) yeah i had to get out of my four walls and um that was the dumbest thing i could have ever (laughs) done because like wow i thought i had anxiety at home (laughs) well i went to marshall's and they have so much stuff there for Mm -hmm. like prepping for black friday and stuff yeah yeah, yeah. and so like the normal aisles that i used to walk in are now Mm. condensed Mm -hmm. and for some reason it was hopping at 4 p.m on a thursday (laughs) you're like why (laughs) yeah what are you people doing here and they're like we also needed to get out of our house (laughs) so this is for all the people that are stuck at home all the time yeah uh uh-uh. uh, I can't even think about going to a store right now. I'm online shopping this Christmas. <laughs> For sure. Um, I also wanted to mention that I think one of my biggest triggers is not being able to start and um, complete a task. Mm. And with a newborn, oh. you can't do that. No, literally, I was trying to get ready to come here. That's why everybody gave me compliments for wearing jeans last week. Thank you so much. <laughs> they were maternity jeans. So, like, don't give me too much credit. <laughs> but. Uh, I couldn't even pick out an outfit. I this is what I've been wearing all day because halfway I was getting ready and four times within that I was going yeah. to feed her or trying to soothe her yep. or whatever and I'm just like 
I'm just trying to get this thing done. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why I start getting ready like two hours before I have to leave now because I know I'm going to get interrupted yep. six times. And then it stresses me out because I don't want to be late. So now I'm mm-hmm. doing the thing where I'm like hella early <laughs> because <laughs> I'm like, I have to be yeah. early. I have to start getting ready. If I say I'm going to be somewhere at eight o'clock, I got to start getting ready at like 545. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because the best thing that could happen is I'm just ready early. Right. So. Right. It's been stressful, but good, but good. I don't, I actually don't mind it as much as I thought I would. So yeah. now wait till she gets a little bit older <laughs> and we do get into a routine. And then she goes through like that first phase where she's like, nah, fuck this routine. Yeah. Ugh, I remember I, that. I truly like my kids once they started going to bed at a certain time mm-hmm. and it was normally between like 630 and 7. That was it. Yeah. Like they may like I think both of them would sleep from six thirty, seven o'clock until like two in the morning and then again until eight o'clock. So yeah. like once they got on that routine, I was like a new fucking person. Well, that's I told Corey because we've just been having her on our schedule, mm-hmm. which is not good because we yeah. go to bed at like 11 or 12. Mm-hmm. So we have her downstairs with us just holding her mm-hmm. or whatever in her little area swing thing. Um, yep. We don't have a swing, but like a chair. Um, until like 11 or 12 and then we put her to bed for the first stretch and she's not she is so screamy fussy from yeah. that time and I'm like it's because she needs to go to bed like, yeah. we need to be putting her to bed at like 7 or 8 well to be fair she's still super young yeah, and yeah. she's not gonna know the difference between day and night until no, like 8 weeks doesn't. minimum she doesn't well that's they can't regulate yeah. and they don't know day and night and like that but was I one of the I'm like can I like, like yeah speed that up a little yeah more. now they do say like starting a routine even that young can help them get into it when they can differentiate but because yeah. i'm just like i feel i know that she's so tired yeah like, overly tired and it, she gets like the witching hour yeah she gets really really fussy from like six to ten it's friggin' terrible. Yeah. She's crying constantly. She wants to eat all the time. And I'm Do like, you ever this is not normal like for you? Put her down in a place to sleep and then like leave her there? No, <laughs> <laughs> I have not yet. <laughs> Okay. So eventually, <laughs> okay, I might do that. Yeah. I have not yet. Um, if she's sleeping, I'm two feet away from her ex. <laughs> Got it. So I yeah. need to work on that. <laughs> That's hard. Yeah, That's it hard. is hard. It's really hard. I never sleep with her on me. That used to be a thing I did with Noah that I didn't realize wasn't safe. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> no, mm. I know. It's it's all about like, do I follow every super strict sleep? whatever rule and then be super tired and Mm -hmm. not be able to function correctly and take care of her or do i get have that one day where i sleep with her beside me on the couch in her thing i think that there's that's like western civilization that's just kind of like led people to believe that co-sleeping isn't oh there's so many people in different countries mosby (laughs) i didn't even notice so sorry if, if you could see Mosby just like going at his <laughs> butthole for that amount of time. Anyway, someone should watch be him. able to go out and go <laughs> at their own butthole. Speaking of buttholes, okay. Here's another. Here's a couple more postpartum things that I'd like to talk about. Okay, I'm getting a lot of cystic body acne mm. out of nowhere, mm-hmm. and I just had a huge one on the top of my butt crack. <laughs> Like, mm. I couldn't even sit down. It was so painful. And then I couldn't see it. So I did. I took yep. a picture. <laughs> yep. And I looked and it had the biggest white head. Were you like, Corey, you got to come get this? I didn't want him to see because my butt crack's super hairy. <laughs> <laughs> you have a hairy butt crack? Right now I do. I don't what know. What do you mean like, right now? Normally, you no. Your butt crack? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you don't shave your butt crack. <laughs> no. You need to feel your butt crack. I guarantee it's hairy. <laughs> <laughs> I have looked, light hair. Yeah. So you probably can't see it. Mine <laughs> mine is dark. Do you pull that thing like a tail sometimes. <laughs> Ride him, cowboy. <laughs> it's just in the crack. <laughs> I don't know if that's better. <laughs> You've never listen, when you go to get waxed, this is how I know that I've everybody I've never been waxed. You should see my armpits right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is how I know that everybody has hair in their butt crack. Because I used to wax people. And they'll they'll do when you do a Brazilian, okay. they do the whole front, then they do a strip for the back. I thought in like, between your cheekers. I th- <laughs> I thought that like 
everyone had hair on their body, like just like a thin, thin layer of hair. Yeah. But like some people have their hair on their okay. faces. Okay. Oh, why am I telling the world about my hair? <laughs> Here's a funnier. Here's a funnier thing. Funny. <laughs> funny. More funny. <laughs> okay. Here's a funnier funny. Um, I got a message from somebody. Okay. From my child's school. So I screenshot it to uh-huh. send it to his dad and his stepmom. Uh-huh. We're in a group chat together. And I almost sent them the picture of my book. <laughs> it was right beside it. And I almost pressed it. I was like, no. Well, that was like the time I sent a picture of my nipple <laughs> on accident. <laughs> like, yo, yeah, what is that? Yeah. If you guys don't know what chiggers are, they are these tiny little bugs. If you ah. have like off um, deep woods mm-hmm. bug spray, you'll see chiggers listed. Mm hmm as one of the bugs and they you can't see them and they're only out in certain temperature and they're like normally in just like tall grass and deep woods <laughs> and i got bit by them me and rachel from for better and worse podcast um she got them as well and we were talking about how bad our experiences were <laughs> and i had it all over my arm and I went to take a picture to show her how bad it was. And she was like, oh, my God, that's sick. Is that your nipple? Because <laughs> you, like, just got out of the bath, Yeah, because right? I just got out of the bath. And I, like, I, I really apparently didn't fucking look at the photo <laughs> at all. I was just, like, oblivious that I was. Confidently sending it. Yep. Forgot that I was butt-ass naked when I took it. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah. So, yeah, I did not let Corey pop that one, but it did pop on its own, I know, because I just took a picture of it today, and it's not why it popped on its own? It must have. And you didn't feel it? No. Is that what happens if you don't pop something, it pops on its own? Yeah. Or does it just, like... a slow leak. Ew! (laughs) That's what I'm assuming. I thought it just, like, would go back into your skin, like, (laughs) I'll see myself out. (laughs) Well, if you put things like um, benzoyl peroxide and stuff on it, sometimes it can, like, loosen that... stuff up oh but like they tell you i love that you censored yourself on the word shit (laughs) like the last podcast i had i said fuck so many times i was listening i was like i should count this mostly because i can't wait for my daughter to hear her birth story and i'm Mm. like fucking (laughs) (laughs) yeah but i almost pooped you out (laughs) it's fucking awesome Mm -hmm. but um they tell you if you can't get rid of a cyst like on your face, if it's like won't come to a head yeah. to put a warm compress on it and it'll like draw it out. So n- don't find a sewing so needle and just go at your face. <laughs> no, but that's what we do. <laughs> that is what I do. I think I've said it before, but Shane put a pimple popping kit in my stocking stuff for one year. Oh, and I was yeah. like, guess who m- might think about doing stuff to your penis? <laughs> Me. I am... <laughs> I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I am. I'm not committing, <laughs> but I am thinking. The thought is there. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. And so now I got some on my shoulders, some on my arms. Mm. Like, what the fuck? Part of me is like jealous because I love, oh my gosh. I made Corey get the one on my shoulder. I was like, I get over here and love get this bad picking. boy. Ooh, it was, they're like, they're not like poppable. One. They're like cysts though. Mm. They're just hard. Well, those are, those I don't like because they, they feel like. I, I'm so unsatisfied <laughs> because you'll pop the little white head at the top, mm-hmm. and then there's just like a mountain underneath. Yes, and, you're and like, I want it. <laughs> Doctor Pimple Popper really is misleads me. Although I think I've talked about before too that I can't watch those videos. No, why? I don't like it. They make me sick. Oh well, well the ones that are like cottage cheesy. Mm-hmm. I can't. I do like like black. Someone heads. is already fast forwarded. <laughs> Like fuck this. They're like, this is fucking gross. <laughs> they, they, I lost them at Harry Buck. <laughs> yeah. Being honest, mm. um, but yeah, I I can watch like the blackhead extractions, mm. but like mm-hmm. anything too pussy. <laughs> How do you spell pussy? <laughs> do you spell pussy? <laughs> I said pussy one time to Corey, and he goes, "How do you spell that?" <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "I'll see myself." <laughs> so. Today we're talking about common misconceptions. We are talking about common misconceptions. And I had to say the ADHD thing off the bat because I know that I'm going to be real all over the place. I did my best, but... I feel like that's pretty... (laughs) Standard. Neurotypical of us. Okay. No, neurodivergent of us. But I wanted to say typical, but I tried to make a punny and I fucked it up (laughs) is what I did. So good for me. Hey, 
speaking of nothing, except I just got a message when I went to go look at this. Okay. Did you get a message from Dylan today? Dylan, fuck your pudding, Dylan. <laughs> I did. About seventh grade. <laughs> I did. Do you remember? No. I remember. He just said something must have happened in seventh grade. <laughs> yes. He said, I was thinking 9-11, but that was in fifth grade for sure. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Wow. Sorry. I'm <laughs> looking at all the things. I think. So he messaged us and was like, hey, me and this other kid I graduated with cannot figure out who like a seventh grade teacher we've come up with like all of them for eighth and sixth who was our seventh grade teachers i think my homeroom teacher was uh maybe i shouldn't say your name (laughs) i know what i was gonna say some but i didn't know if i should but i said (gasps) that's the only one i remember that's the only one i could remember but i couldn't remember his name i just said bob with the goatee (laughs) and he taught social studies so he was like yes that's it um and but we can't figure out no one else there's a boy that I had a big, big crush on in that class. And on crazy, crazy outfit day, mm-hmm. um, I went fucking ham because I... <laughs> you do that a lot. I commit on dress up days. <laughs> I don't. And all the other girls with the pumped up kicks showed up <laughs> with like just long socks and <laughs> like... Um, a tie over a tank top with suspenders on their Sophie shorts yeah. and just like pigtails. <laughs> so they like went the cute route and I fucking straightened half of my hair and spiral curled the other half. And then I did two different kinds of makeup on my face. <laughs> I wore like shorts on one side, yeah. like basketball shorts on one side, but then like long pants on the other. <laughs> That's the kind that like you could take off. <laughs> and, and he looked at me and he was like, wow, you... You look really crazy. <laughs> I was like, I, that's the day. Today is just like crazy day. So I, I did that. <laughs> I understood the assignment. I don't know why you, you sound like you're mad about it. <laughs> do you not think I'm hot? <laughs> you really did do that a lot. You committed so hard to so many things. I went for the weird best friend route, hoping they'd fall in love with me. And they never did. <laughs> Except for Shane. Except for, well, I stopped being weird then and just oh. embraced. <laughs> I just went real hardcore tomboy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, that always works. Yeah. I just yeah. got to like take my hair out of a ponytail and they're like, whoa. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Fucking hot <laughs> all of a sudden. <laughs> Isn't that fun? That's what, when I went to leave here today, Corey was like, oh my God, you look really pretty. And I was like, I have makeup on <laughs> for the first time. Yes. That's it. That's, the, it. That's I, the only thing I've changed. The difference, my face the difference in my face, one with makeup, but with mascara <laughs> is insane because I have blonde eyelashes. So putting Sometimes on mascara, <laughs> I'm a different person. And then I was I was um, blow drying my hair. Uh-huh. I was trying to give myself a blowout. And I'm so bad at holding the fucking comb how and the, the blow dryer at the same time. I fucking hate when they style your hair and they're like, so this is how you style it. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, you know I'm not going to be able to fucking do that when I get home. How many hands do you have? <laughs> And also, so you could like look at my head down. My arms got to do some funky <laughs> shit to do this. Anyway, I pointed the blow dryer <laughs> directly in my face, melted my mascara to my eye. I couldn't open it. <laughs> I was like, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. I forgot <laughs> that I was holding the brush. So I just, I, my Panicked. brain was in this loop of, I don't know how to help me here. <laughs> so what I just I stayed do? fucking blasting my eye with hot air. Oh, so I did that one time when I dropped my my straightener was falling onto the ground. Oh and I no! Was like, oh no! It's gonna hit me in the foot, <laughs> which I could have just moved my foot. Instead, I caught it with my hand. I was like, "That's Lord. not my foot." And then I was like, <laughs> and then I screamed, but couldn't figure out like, "Let oh, go!" <laughs> I was just like, ah. <laughs> "Anyways, that was really painful." Oh, well. Common misconception. Oh. We know how to <laughs> intro. <laughs> we know how to use beauty tools. <laughs> Segue. <laughs> oh. mm-hmm. So the first misconception I have, I'm taking it back to our very first episode, and the misconception is that witches were burned at the stake during yes. the Salem witch trial. Now we did find out that they did burn witches at the strike strike <laughs> stake during in the Europe. European witch trials. Yes. So that's where the difference is. There were nineteen witches who were executed by hanging and then one was pressed to death. Giles. Oh, oh God. Mm-hmm. Um however the at the European witch trials, um, 
they did burn them at the stake. That was the common practice. Right. So around 50,000 people were executed oh my between God. the 15th and the 18th century for being witch. Oh my God. Yeah. Maybe you told me that before, but I like, I, maybe. I don't remember. That's, that number. That is quite shocking to me. Right. All because people were like, I think you do spells. <laughs> <laughs> you be staring at the moon a little too long. <laughs> yeah, like, I saw her dance. Dancing's forbidden <laughs> to the gallows. <laughs> yeah. All my gals to the gallows. Hey. Uh, hey. All my gals to the gallows. <laughs> hey. I don't know why. Someone please do something with that. I just see all in my head. It there's feels a whole disrespectful, <laughs> but. Oh, fuck. It, 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 it feels like like a drunk history thing again, where they're just like, uh, uh. I'm going to go out. That's how I'm going out. <laughs> we should do a drunk history. <laughs> I know. It's been requested. Um. Which we pretty much do every episode. <laughs> ah, I'm back, bitches. <laughs> we, every episode's gonna be drunk something. This is getting <laughs> to me already. It's so weird that, like, to them we drink all the time. <laughs> all they know. All they know is us. us we have, like, t- two alcoholic drinks a week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is it. Max. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, when you have an IV, the needle is in your arm the whole time. That's a misconception. What? Which I always thought. When you get an IV, the needle is in your arm. It is in your arm. It is not. What? So the needle is only used to insert a small IV catheter. It's a tube into the arm, and then the needle is removed, leaving the tube inside. So that's what you feel. The needle is not in you anymore. I always thought it was. Also, sorry for whoever we just triggered with needle talk. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Oh, apologies. Um, (laughs) To myself, (laughs) because that shit makes... I didn't tell you this on the birth stories. Because I was so like, Mm -hmm. right? Oh, yeah. Ivy's really fucking freaked me out. Why am I okay with that? I I know. know. Um, I did pass out when they gave me my epidural. You did? I was like, <laughs> well, I was like, uh-oh, guys, not feeling so good. <laughs> As she was doing it, she goes, hold on, a little bit longer. That's a scary thing to hear when you're starting to go. <laughs> and she's like, I'm still in your spine. Oh, no. And I was, she's like, just hold still a little bit longer. And I was like, <laughs> I'm losing it. <laughs> this doesn't feel like something I can control. <laughs> it wasn't. But she, she's like, got it, got it. She worked so fast. The shout out the to amount of <laughs> movement that you're doing while she's in your spine to me is terrifying. <laughs> it was terrible. It's, I just You were acting like she was a hibachi <laughs> chef on your back. <laughs> <laughs> Don't move. Almost there. And got a negative. <laughs> <laughs> Saki, Saki. <laughs> to the nurses and you're like I almost done <laughs> you hear me this up I can smell the noodles <laughs> okay I'm done but so as soon as she was done they like laid me on my side cause I couldn't lay and they back. tossed a piece of broccoli <laughs> at you ow ow <laughs> They laid me on my side, and then I started to go. <laughs> my eyes were like, whoo. Uh-huh. And this nurse comes over, and she just cracks a fucking stick, and it's like, whoosh, whoosh, in my, it was smelling salt. <laughs> Dude, have you ever had smelling salt? It was salt for the noodles. <laughs> she was like, here. <laughs> yum, yum. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I don't know if you've ever encountered smelling salts. I just thought they were like, Whatever. No, dude. They're like, are they intense? You smell them? And I was like, whoa! <laughs> I was fucking awake. I'm like, I'm gonna get myself an epidural now. <laughs> I said, what's next? <laughs> Come here. <laughs> I already know the hand motion. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Put in the spatula. Um, so I, I was like, do people abuse these? <laughs> I feel like you could. Honestly, it gave me a rush. Be addicted to smelling salts? Yes. Maybe. Honestly. <sighs> Because I was like, where can I buy these? And the nurse was <laughs> like, I don't think you can buy I bet I need them for when I pass out. But really, I was like, when I'm really tired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's scary to think about. I know. But also, I drive in the dark late sometimes. It's It could save your life. <laughs> it could. Wow. It's important. This is a PSA. Drugs save your life. <laughs> no. I'm kidding. Oh my God, I'm kidding. 13 year olds that watch us, please. <laughs> Yeah, no, that was a total joke. That was a joke. For they legal ruined. reasons, that was a fucking joke. <laughs> yeah, don't come for me. 
The next one. The misconception is you must wait 30 minutes after eating to swim. There's no need. There's no increased risk of getting muscle cramps if you swim shortly after. The theory is that, like, your blood rushes to your organs when you eat, so there's uh-huh. not enough in your muscles, so you'll cramp. I don't know what that- they think I'm doing in the pool, but I'm usually just standing there. <laughs> So Who's like, like yeah, up. I'm standing in the pool and have a cramp so intense <laughs> that I just collapse Drop under the water in your four foot pool. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not happening. Uh, well, I've never followed that rule. Yeah. Oh, I love this one. OK. Shout out to my butt crack. <laughs> <laughs> Shaving makes hair grow back thicker. That is not true. What about plucking? No. OK. Um, so why do I have one hair on my chin that just comes in real coarse? Well, I mean, that's just probably because of growing <laughs> growing older, estrogen and things of the sort. Does estrogen make your hair your hair Thicker coarse? And coarser, I believe so. It's or not t- testosterone? testosterone? Uh, yeah. It's testosterone? <laughs> it's just it's it's the Rudy. <laughs> It's testaroni. <laughs> the San Francisco treat. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> oh, God. Um, testosterone. Testosterone. That, I think that's what it is. So, like, what do you have bigger? In, sure. <clears throat> what do I have in my body? Because my shit is <laughs> thick and coarse. Honestly, I, oh, yeah, I've got one chin here. So shaving, plucking, waxing, all of that mm-hmm. does not change the thick. Well, plucking, <laughs> plucking the negativity. Yes, actually, waxing can waxing uh-huh. waxing can change the thickness for a, a little bit hmm. because it's like literally ripping it out by the root. So perhaps plucking is too, mm-hmm. but it'll never make it thicker, like mm. come in thicker. Mm-hmm. If anything, it'll thin it out. Well, I've always heard Which that if you people like people that like overpluck their eyebrows in the nineties uh, had a problem growing them back because ripping it out by the root can cause it to like. Do you know that I've never had my eyebrows waxed? Well, I don't think you need to. I don't. I no, you have really good eyebrow shape. I have. I I use one of those like little razor things. <gasps> That's what I have now for my mustache. <laughs> <laughs> Um, because I'm hairy, and let's move on. Okay, <laughs> so stop bullying me about it. Me. me. <laughs> and let's just move on with our lives, because yeah. it happens to the best of us. I I do the underneath sometimes, yeah. and then I'll do the middle. I didn't realize how much I needed my tops done sometimes. Mine I, are terrible right now. Don't look. <laughs> <laughs> so I look directly at Mine are so light that like I have to let them grow in real thick, because you can't see them otherwise. Yeah. No, mine are, if I miss a day, I'm like, ugh, there's 14 new strays. You have to I pluck them. every day. Every in the, day? In the middle? Oh, yeah, and there's still some here that I missed today. Oh, my gosh. If you look close enough when I don't have makeup on, you can see them. They're like our little tiny That's guys. a lot of work. I am so done with fucking hair. <laughs> I'm telling you. I am getting a treat to myself. One are you going to do? If I win the lottery. <laughs> Laser hair removal? Yes. That's my mm. first my big treat to myself someday mm-hmm. is that I'm getting laser hair removal on mm. my face, on my legs, underarms, butt crack. Oh my ass! <laughs> <laughs> the first to go. We <laughs> could be like, hold on, check this out. You ever seen anything like this? <laughs> <laughs> but they also say that, like, if you have a white hair, don't pluck it because seven more will grow in its That's place. Not true either. I wouldn't think so. That just seems silly how does that happen <laughs> i think any person who is balding then could just be like oh i know how to trick this <laughs> oh, we'll get more hair yeah. yeah no um i really like that they added this one in there because it's really important mm-hmm. these next two so this says having ocd which is obsessive compulsive disorder means that someone is extre- extremely tidy and organized mm. and that's what ocd is it's not the case no. at all um, you can have an obsessive compulsion with cleaning. Yeah. That's some people's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But a lot of times um, OCD is it really just causes uncontrollable thoughts and behaviors that the person feels like they must repeat over and over again. And in fact, a lot of times it can make it more difficult to be neat and organized. Right. So uh, that drives me crazy. And I don't <laughs> even have OCD when I hear people be like, oh, I'm that's just my OCD or I'm OCD. Yeah. Because, having to make sure everything is in, in its position yeah. or color coded. Yeah. Yeah. Because a lot of people who actually have a compulsive disorder like right. that are literally like, if I don't touch this seven times, the world is going to end yeah. kind of thoughts. And it's 
it's terrible. Yeah. I don't have, have you ever had an intrusive thought like that? Like I can't do something because something bad's going to happen. Uh, yeah. I told you that With, I was is, having, I think that's anxiety, right? Well, that's my, mine is anxiety because that's what I'm having right now where it's like, if I leave anybody with my yep. baby, even my mother-in-law, who is a labor and delivery nurse right. who literally knows CPR yeah. on little tiny infants, um, that she won't, that she will like pass away. Yeah. I don't know why that's like a thought that I yeah. have, but I have to like <clears throat> literally beat myself up before I leave. Like, relax. Mm -hmm. She's going to be fine. Mm hmm <laughs> inside my head it's say like, it till no, you no, believe no. it say it till you believe it if you heard on the last episode Sierra said um, that she was with her dad so she's fine and I yeah. said do you believe that the reason I asked her that <laughs> is because Barbara asks me that all the time I'll say something yeah. and she said do you believe yourself when you say that and sometimes I'm like no I'd like no, to no. <laughs> yeah I want to I want to I think that if I speak it enough I will believe it right um I had another thing I was going to add. Oh, oh. I had this intrusive thought for a long time. My grandpa um, made me this cabinet upstairs, mm -hmm. and he custom made it to fit in this one spot in Shane and I's first house. Oh. And then we brought it here, and there actually happened to be another spot that it fit. It was perfectly sized. Now, my grandpa, he when he made things, he made them the same terrible orange color <laughs> and he used these white like uh, horrifically ugly knobs I'm sure <laughs> and i wanted he hated painted wood like he he was a self-taught carpenter and like you could not paint wood it was really? like it was offensive to him yeah so i was all of our cabinets are black yeah and then there was this terribly orange <laughs> piece of <laughs> cabinet that he made me and I was like, Shane, I think I want to paint it black. I think I want to paint it black. And he's like, then why don't you paint it? I go, because if I paint it black, my grandpa will die. <gasps> and he was like, that's not a thing. And I remember even talking to Barbara about it and yeah. saying, I'm afraid to paint my cabinet black because I think it will kill my grandpa. Yes. And she's like, do you hear yourself? <laughs> and I was like, I do. And then I painted it and my grandpa's dead. So. <laughs> I don't know if that, Do it that way you will. I don't know if that helps your intrusive thoughts or not, but um, it surely didn't help mine. So I'm sorry. <laughs> I knew the ending. I know. I was like, oh no, don't say you painted it. Don't I I it. did. I painted it because I was like, you know, you know what? These intrusive thoughts are not going to stop me from living my life. And it's like, you know whose life we're gonna stop it from living. <laughs> Your grandpa say goodbye to Pappy. <laughs> so, oh no. Anyway, he would laugh at that <laughs> if he heard me. <laughs> yeah, he'd laugh. Yeah, he's got a good sense he'd of humor. He'd be really pissed about the cabinet. <laughs> he'd be all furious that. about the cabinet, but the joke is good. So, <laughs> it's all about it. Evens out. Um, okay, the next one's important too. So it says the misconception is that schizophrenia means having multiple personalities. Mm. That is not the case. That is multiple personality disorder right. or isn't there a dissociative identity disorder? Yes, I is think that... it's renamed. Okay. I'm not sure if there because I don't know if there's a spectrum. Yeah, I apologize. Um, I am not 100% on that. Yeah, and I know that we have some people who um, are in the DID community who listen to us and have reached out. Um, <clears throat> so please, if you uh, want to take any amount of time and you have the energy and want to educate people in the comments, please do that. Um, I don't know if it's like a spectrum or if it was just once named this and, and now, now is named, named this. Right. Um, because I know like with Asperger's, it was separate from autism, but it was on the autism spectrum. And now there is no Asperger's anymore. They it's don't diagnose people like, with that. It's just autism, spect yeah. uh, autism spectrum disorder. Yeah. Yeah. So, so <clears throat> schizophrenia um, is, is not multiple personality. So it actually involves disordered thoughts, psychosis, delusion, hallucinations, things yeah. like that. So they are completely different. And um, yeah, that's important. Fun fact. When I first started going to therapy and I was talking to her about my intrusive thoughts, mm -hmm. I referred to them as voices. Yeah. And yeah, you gotta be careful. <laughs> well, I know. Because I reason, did the same thing. I was like, I hear voices. 
and they tell me this and she's like sorry <laughs> <laughs> yeah i i know and I was like, and, oh but it's my voice <laughs> but if you I think there's one episode where we were talking about how our Hulu commercials are different. And I'm like, mine is schizophrenia (laughs) medication. And I think it's because when I talk about it, I say the voices say X, Y, Z. But the reason that I said it in that way, and I now know that that's not the proper way to explain it or it needs uh, needs more context. Right. um, Is because I knew enough to know that it wasn't my voice right that the things it was like an inner dialogue but it was but it was the thoughts seeds planted there from other people yes i know exactly what you mean it was like clouding my so it's like technically in your voice voice because it's your inner inner dialogue yes but the words aren't coming from you they're coming from a place of what you've been told right or heard over the years mm-hmm. Aha. yeah 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 I, that there makes was sense. there was some i thought kids movie that soul yes yes I, yes yes because we talk about that all the time yes that's exactly what it is like yes. is 22 if you guys went back and watched soul such a um, fucking kids movie <laughs> they you see 22 with all of these voices talking and, like and braiding screaming. her yeah. yeah that's what it's like but it's not it's not the same and yeah. i think that it that's important to understand yes. when you're trying to communicate like your own thoughts and feelings because you don't want to be misdiagnosed yes um and you don't want to also accidentally further stigmatize something yes and whatever for sure okay i didn't know that this was a misconception but Apparently, people believe that memories that you lose during your drunken blackouts can be recovered. Why? Well, yeah. So, it, this is not true. I included this because I really like this. This is impossible because drinking too much alcohol actually causes part of the brain that encodes your short-term memories to switch off. That's why That's you black out. terrifying. That's why I don't drink that much. That's why I don't, like, smoke a lot of weed. That's, That's why I don't... terrifying. Anything where I lose I, a lot of short-term memory freaks me the fuck out. I already struggle with memory loss. Mm-hmm. If you um, are an exclusive member, you know that, like, I totally forgot that I full-on decked <laughs> my sister in the face as a, a 17-year-old person. Mm-hmm. Um, but... The idea I never thought about that. That the yeah. idea that it's called blacking out is because your brain literally shuts, shuts down. Shuts off. Parts of your brain literally quit working. Oh, that's so scary. That's so scary. But and- it's also scary to think that those things can't be recovered because I think that that fact could be used to invalidate victims. Sure. To say like you were. Are you dr- sure that you know what yes. you're even? Yeah. Yes. 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 And it's really, it's interesting because I can watch people drink a fucking shit ton. I won't name any names. <laughs> but like, yeah, if I drank the same amount, I would no be way. like, yep. right. And they remember everything. They mm-hmm. can tell you exactly what happened. I'll be like, oh, remember this conversation? Yeah. And know it better than I yeah. do. But like, if I would drink half as much as that, I would black out. So I think it's, it's, it's got to be difficult. the way your body processes yeah. that alcohol in general. And yeah. I, I it, that just freaks me out. I always thought that was so. That's why again I hate doing anything like that because I hate thinking that my body's like kind of running on autopilot. Even yeah. though I know that's not true, yeah. it's working correctly. It's just not my my short term memory can't remember it. Yeah, but you would also have to think that maybe your like reasoning is also like what else is oh, shut I down know during it that is. time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, I don't like it. Yeah. Um. Okay. <clears throat> so. Another one about alcohol is that drinking alcohol warms your body. So some people will be like, oh, you're cold here. Drink a couple shots of this. It'll warm you up. Uh, Beer coat. Yep. Right, right. That's There's actually the truth to it is that the warming sensation is caused by your blood vessels dilating. But drinking alcohol actually lowers your body temperature. Mm. It's, kinda, it's actually very scary for people who get super drunk and then think they feel really hot and then go sit outside if it's really cold. Yeah. Or whatever. You're, you're actually, your temperature yep. is lowering, but you feel warmer. So that's interesting. Um, leaving your phone charging after 100% damages the, ba- damages the battery. I still think this all the time. And so I like unplug my phone as soon as uh-huh. it hits 100. Not true. 
because today's lithium ion batteries are advanced enough to stop charging when they're full. Wow. But the charger still draws a small amount of current, so unplugging it can save you money, which is why they say to like unplug your chargers if you're not using it, because if it's plugged into the wall, it's still pooling electricity. Everything is plugged in all the time. (laughs) I had a friend who whenever we like left the house, she Mm -hmm. would unplug all of her... Yeah, everything? electronics yeah. like it, not if we were just like running to the store but if we were going to be gone for the night or for mm-hmm. like a couple of days she would unplug all of her electronics and i'm like huh who has the time <laughs> yeah i've actually kind of started doing that because again as i get older my anxiety about things mm-hmm. i have a really weird anxiety with fire recently like it, I, oh, that's what i want to know i wonder if that's on there is there a misconception that when you flick the light on and off that it causes a fire no it doesn't but is that a thing that i don't know think? have you ever heard that uh, probably i'm sure if you like flip your light switch on and off repeatedly like really quickly <gasps> i remember doing that and something like you're gonna cause a fire don't do that no so i'm like fuck fuck <laughs> and so now forrest will go do it because there's one chair near yeah. a light switch and ollie goes mama get papa get papa get papa fire <laughs> he like, like oh yeah, he knows because i've said it <laughs> i've repeated it you're like stop it's gonna cause a fire <laughs> yeah I don't, I don't know, know, but freaking anything with that. That's why I've been not charging my phone. I used to lay my phone on my bed with me while it was charging. Nope. Because yeah. I've seen like people's shit catch on fire, yeah. their chargers. Um, Great. I know, man. <laughs> We're just giving everyone anxiety sorry, now about sorry, all their electronics. <laughs> no, my laptop gets really, really hot because it's old and yes. I've used it for everything. I use it for editing and for this. And um, I smell burning sometimes mm. and I'm like... This might be the day. <laughs> also, I have a question. Somebody tell me if you know a lot about electronics. If I leave my fan running 24-7, is it going to catch on fire? <laughs> because Maybe. I feel like it will. Maybe. I shut it off constantly because I'm so afraid. Corey will leave it running. Or if he turns it on the highest, I'm like, get that off. Um, <laughs> Turn it on the lower one. Our fan, like our uh, ceiling fan, mm-hmm. won't even run anymore. <gasps> if you turn on the light, it's you just- hear it, but nothing's moving. Why? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. The motor, I think, is gone. Probably. But like randomly, one time it'll it, it just started working like, again, and I was like, mm, <laughs> "We don't trust that." <laughs> no, Ooh. electrical things. Mm. Yep. Do you believe that bears hibernate all winter? This one, this one upset me greatly <laughs> when I heard <laughs> it. They do not. No. Mm-hmm. Um, they actually just call fall into a deep sleep, and it's not true hibernation because they can readily wake up and respond to external stimuli. Mm-hmm. But technically they are sleeping but it, they're not like out for the whole winter yeah whenever i learned that that's not what hibernation was <laughs> like, i felt the fuck? completely lied to hi welcome to everything i learned at school <laughs> <laughs> yep I'm like, are you fucking gay? welcome to american education <laughs> because there's certain things we say where people will comment like are you fucking dumb like i learned that in the first grade when and i'm, I'm like, like where okay. do you live again oh not in america <laughs> <laughs> that okay. makes sense sure why don't you brag about your education system? A <laughs> and bit probably more. your free health care. <laughs> you dick. Yeah. Um, this says the misconception is that if you leave wasps alone, they will leave you alone. Fucking false. Okay, wasps, that's not true. No, this only applies to bumblebees. Every other type of bee will can and possibly will sting unprovoked. Now, I also know, I don't know if it's all bees or all um sharp assed flying <laughs> creatures <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> Got you back bitch Got you back I deserve that <laughs> I deserve that <laughs> But yeah um if you go to kill them, uh-huh. they send out signals. I've heard that. That so Maybe that's a misconception, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure they send out signals saying that they're in distress and then other ones come. Yeah. When I was working at the park <laughs> and I was at the ticket window, Dude. there was a bee that came up. And it was a wasp. What are past <laughs> Just- Well, bees, wasps. Um, other. yellow jackets, sure. hornets. Okay. okay, okay, okay. Um, so all of them be family. <laughs> See, <Got> sharp <laughs> ass flying bugs. Got it. So I sprayed this wasp killer mm-hmm. and killed it. And while it was dying, I think it sent out these signals <sighs> because and all of 15 a sudden, more came. And I'm just in the window. I remember seeing this. them. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. That was scary. It had some long range shit. I was like, on the trash can, 10 foot away. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Mm-hmm. You have to protect yourself. If it was a honeybee, I would have been mad. But- oh, for sure. No. But these are fucking... Even wasps, I try not to... I was at a wedding the other day. Fuck a wasp. They were just... <laughs> Fuck you. They, they were just flying around, <laughs> landing in people's hair. I had one land on my camera because they popped champagne <gasps> and the champagne went all over me and the videographer. <laughs> oh, my this God. This fucking yellow jacket was on my camera just like, mm, champagne, delicious. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. <laughs> I'll just be here for a minute. <laughs> yeah. It, apparently, it was Russian. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind if I do. I love this champagne. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Anytime I see, oh, I did kill a bee one time. It was actually, you know, I don't want to talk about it. Okay, it was a wasp, but it was it was in my swimming pool, and it kept coming back and landing on me and my child. And I was trying to save my child. <laughs> I was really it's me, worried. It's, you were my child. Yeah, and he kept fucking with me. So I took the thing, and I was just gonna scoop him out. Mm-hmm. This is so fucked up. <laughs> My sister said she changed the way she looked at me after this because I got him. He was on the slide. And so I could have just and scooped uh-huh. him out. But like a rage came over me <laughs> and I just held it there. And then by the time I stopped, I was like, oh, my God, what am I doing? And then it was just floating. But you it drowned it. I well, I thought so. Then I scooped it out and it fucking blew away. Oh, so it was like play dead, play dead, play yes. dead. I wow. thought, but I was like, wow, that was fucked up. What is wrong with me? Because I was just like, oh, <laughs> you murder, 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 <laughs> die, die, die. And then I was like, Sierra, stop. What are you doing? This is one of God's creatures. <laughs> and then it flew away, and yeah. I was like, well, I hope you learned. <laughs> Was the Sierra that said that's one of God's creatures also the Sierra that was saying murder, 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 die, die, die? <laughs> yes. Okay. It was a real devil sh- angel situation. <laughs> on <my shoulder>. Got <laughs> it. It was hard. Um, the misconception is that if a cat is purring, it always means that they're pleased. Mm. This is false because purring actually... Um, it might mean that it has marbles in its head and it's stuffed. <laughs> <laughs> I love those cats. Me too. I would shake that thing so much. I'm like, Kitty's so happy. <laughs> <laughs> Kitty's happy to be with me. <laughs> oh my god! I you guys have those cats? The stuffed animals that had the remember. marbles in its head. I was like, Mommy, you'll never buy me an animal. So I just like play yeah. with that cat's book, squeeze it mm-hmm. so hard. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's why she never bought me a cat. But okay, so purring is a form of communication between cats so it can signal hunger stress or healing from an injury so a lot of times when cats are sick or dying they'll purr to like Aww, calm themselves oh that's sad you know what's, fuck. i know do you know what's even crazier when cats sense that you are sick or not like doing well like i remember they'll when purr? i had to pr- they'll sit on top of you and try to like transfer that to you Aww. my cat used to sit on my chest when i was depressed and just like fucking purr into my body and i was Aww. like thank you for healing me <laughs> that's so nice I know. cats will do that to me all of the time and i think that they're trying to murder me because i am so very allergic <laughs> they're like ah fuck you mm-hmm. here's one about the moon there's one about the moon it's not made of cheese <laughs> You'll never believe this, but it's not made of cheese. (laughs) The moon landing was fake. No, I'm just kidding. I will. I do want to do some like fun conspiracy theories. Are we far enough away anymore? (laughs) Are we far enough away from the not fun ones yet? Is the Avril Lavigne one fun or not fun? I don't know. I feel feel mean about it. I feel like if there's a living person, that you're saying isn't real, (laughs) (laughs) like that's mean. Well, because well, I think there I are love- people who really are diehard believing in that. Could you imagine them walking up being like, fuck you, fake Avril Lavigne. I swear to God, tell me where she is. <laughs> right. Like, if you're real Avril Lavigne, That's you're true. like, um, can you please stop questioning my identity and my existence? Maybe? I think the reason I have so much fun with it is because I think... <laughs> That like, of course, people know that's not real. That's ridiculous. And then I remember where we live <laughs> and the people that are around us. True. And I'm like, oh, for sure, people could believe that. Yeah. Because they believe a lot of people. Same thing with the whole like Katy Perry being Jean Benet Ramsey. Yeah. Thing. Yeah, that's fucked up a little bit. Mm-hmm. Also fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's fucked up. <laughs> okay, so the moon is solely responsible for Earth's, the Earth's tides. That's not true. It's not? The moon, the sun, the shape of the beach, and the coastline, the and that angle. Ass. <laughs> the, this ass. Let's make that lot I go. Uh, uh, the uh, asthma uh. fear. 
no, the angle of the seabed and the winds all influence the tide together. Hmm. It's not just the moon. Listen, the moon I've been does thinking have an influence on it. A lot about celestial beings recently. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Celestials like plants aliens? in space. Like aliens? I've been thinking a lot about aliens lately. Me too. I think about I've, them every day. <laughs> you know how... <laughs> Wait, <laughs> hold on. You liked something on our TikTok. <laughs> I, you know what I'm going to say? I don't know. I've been liking a lot of stuff on our TikTok. I'd like to go to our shared TikTok account and look at the likes because <laughs> Jerry likes SWAT and I like really dumb shit. Our algorithm is so, so fucking weird. It's, it's a so surprise confused. every time I get on there. It was the one about Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> it's gone. It's oh. gone. I tried to show Randy today. It's it was gone. Like mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You can't find it because it's gone, but there was this so we'll TikTok about, about Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> and he, was, he was giving a speech and he said something like, and of course you feel things because you're human That's and humans not- feel things. I used to, I was human once. No, he said, I felt things when I wasn't human. When I am, I am still a human. (laughs) Just like that. And then it flashes to the monsters and God. And he goes, "Mm." (laughs) I felt things when I was a human. I am still a human. And everybody's like, (laughs) If he wouldn't have like yeah. specified, it would have been fine. We would have just rolled past him. But he was like, "I am a human still. <laughs> yeah, right now I am, and now it's gone." And everybody's like, "Lizard person." <laughs> I want to know if the whole lizard person that shit is so funny. To I want to know about I don't that. Care conspiracy. if it's real or not, but I just think it's so. Funny. Why wouldn't it be? I truly believe that aliens know about us in oh, a way for sure. that we don't know about them. I feel like aliens watch us like reality, reality TV. TV for yeah. sure. They're just like but like trash like Tiger King. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like flavor of love. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You know they look about. at us and they're like they could have had everything. Mm-hmm. And instead, they choose this <laughs> flavor flavor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's happening? He's on the price. Earth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I feel that. Oh, oh. And I think they have like (laughs) bets on how long it's going to take for us to just like ruin ourselves. Because I'm like, why don't they fuck us up? And I'm like, they must know that we're going to (laughs) fuck each other up or just ruin the planet soon enough. Yeah. They're like, like, there's nothing. You guys are not going to sustain yourselves. We're not concerned. You're not a threat to us in any way. I feel like just entertainment. I think we're more of a case study. Yeah. yeah, Than anything. (laughs) We're like rats to them. Yes. (laughs) 100%. Hundred percent, I believe that. Um, okay, so the misconception is that the Garden of Eden's forbidden fruit was an apple. If you read the Bible, the Bible never mentions an apple. It doesn't. It just mentions forbidden fruit. I've never read the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> I have. You have. Yes. First of all, I've read literally almost nothing. <laughs> That's true. Except for that one and the girl in Cabin Very ten. hard read. It is. Oh Shane God, and I did ridiculous. try and read the Bible. It's we ridiculous. like would read a couple passages and then we would talk about it before bed. I'd be like, "This is so fucking boring." <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> sorry. It's just really hard. Well, to read. that's when I learned Jesus was a fucking savage. Yeah, he would like call people out, like you're being a piece of shit. Yeah. So like, quit it. Figure it out. Yeah. Or I'm gonna fucking turn your hands into wine or whatever. <laughs> Or I'm going to make fish rain down on your house. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, figure it out. Um, coin, the misconception is that coin flips. No. Penny spins. Like coin spins mm-hmm. are always like random 50-50 chance that it'll land on the heads or tails. If you ever are in a bet with somebody and you have to spin a penny, the penny will land t- Tails up 80% of the time because, because of the weight Lincoln's of the head? head makes it heavier. Like it's got a fat ass dome. <laughs> fucking dome piece. <laughs> I heard that yeah. about Lincoln. Yeah, that he's got a fat <laughs> He does. He's hiding it under that hat. Yeah. His head is actually this fucking tall. <laughs> yeah. That's why he wore that fucking hat all yeah. the time. That's as tall as the hat. I knew it. Um,. That's, that's, I mean, I could do more, but those were the good ones. Oh, yeah. wait, you want more? 
give me give me like two more. All right, let me go to my other page. <laughs> and then I'm done with you. Mm-hmm. Ooh, okay. The misconception is that your hair and fingernails continue to grow after you die. Have you heard of that? No. So creepy, but a lot of people believe it. Um, but what actually happens, because if you would like go and look at the body after it's decomposing, their hair and their nails might appear longer, but it's because everything else shrunk. The skin around actually retracts, not Ew. because they're actually growing. Okay, is it true that you're you're born with your eyes? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. No, that is false. <laughs> I figure out how to word this. Is it true that the size eyes you're born with are the the size no like your fucking I, way. your eyeballs grow? Wait, your actual balls? <laughs> yes. I don't know, but can you imagine? I heard sweet that baby? you were born with the eye like your eyeballs are the same size from birth to death, like your eyeballs. I have a question. What about your teeth? Well, you don't have teeth when you're born. No, <laughs> but they are in your skull. That's upsetting to me. So are like, no, how- are they in your skull when you're born? Like, where else would they come from? <laughs> <laughs> no, I know that they're in your skull. But like, do they grow down or yes. are they just like, are you born with a full set of teeth you're and they born just with come? all of your teeth in your mouth already? You are? Where, but not your you adult teeth, gums? right? Where do you think they come from? Your adult teeth are already in your mouth. Then why do we have baby teeth? Why don't we just start with the adult <laughs> teeth? Can you imagine if me as a toddler came out with these fucking teeth? That's why. Because it would traumatize me. Yeah, but do you know how many carrots you can eat? <laughs> so fucking many. I'm being with every horse. <laughs> okay, but do you know what's so fucking angering to me? Is that your ears and your nose never stop growing. <laughs> Okay, I think the rest of some of your features stop growing at some point, except for your ears and your nose, and I already (laughs) am so far ahead in that race, and I'm pissed about it. (laughs) I did not know that. That's upsetting Mm -hmm. for a lot of people. I remember looking at my grandpa, the one that just died because I painted the cabinet. (laughs) And I looked at his ears and I was like, oh, Oh, fuck, fucking A. That's where I'm headed, huh? (laughs) That's where we're going. All them ears, and you can't hear a damn thing, can you? <laughs> I love you, Papa. Thanks for the cabinet. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Recipes, my guy. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you guys could have seen it. <laughs> Me too. I searched so our TikTok and it wasn't there. Fuck. It's so funny. Why would that get done? <laughs> I don't know. That's the best thing I've ever because seen. Because it outed him as a lizard person. <laughs> And next thing you know, this episode's going to get taken down because we mentioned it. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Here's a good one to add on. Okay. You swallow eight spiders a year while you're sleeping. We made this common misconception. I know. You don't. Um, you don't not <laughs> eat eight <laughs> spiders a year. <laughs> well, you, well, you might eat some. No. Um, the, so spiders don't intentionally try to come into contact with humans ever. Um, and the vibrations that come from a sleeping person and the movements would probably frighten a spider more than entice them. So thinking of a spider is just scared. Of it makes us, me like, feel bad that we so killed one on an episode one time. Oh my god, that was really sad. Yeah. <laughs> um, so while it's plausible that you could swallow a spider in your sleep, it's not very likely, and there's no factual evidence that you oh. gulp down any spiders a year, let alone eight. Wow, so sorry I fucking lied to you guys. Yeah, so I, that's why I liked that. I was like, I gotta find that one because that's important to say. Yeah, I feel like that's important. Should. Of all the stuff <laughs> that we could correct ourselves on, that one is that important. One is important. Um, I think that is because I don't want to think about spiders falling into my fucking. Yeah, and I sleep with my mouth wide open. Mm-hmm. Corey goes, "Your our baby sleeps like you. She sleep." <laughs> I also mouth, sleep with my mouth turned wide open. down and open. If I am on. A plane. <laughs> I you well, thank God for planes. Masks. Yeah, I can sleep on a plane. Good fucking. Dad. I will. You know how we'll sit with our sweatshirts covering <laughs> half of our face. Mm-hmm. That's how I'll position myself because I don't want what? people to know I sleep with my mouth open. <laughs> Same thing if like when we had sleepover Thursday in college, and we would have guys spend the night in our room with us. <laughs> I would always sleep with my shirt up or I would cover, I would have my hands in front of my mouth because I didn't want them to know that I slept with my mouth open. So here's the thing. I 
had sleepovers with so many guys. <laughs> uh-huh. Of, uh, like, I didn't sleep with all of them. Relax, guys. <laughs> like, yeah. You know, whatever. Technically, you did sleep with all of them. Yeah, but just like in the same room. <laughs> yeah. But not... Next to each other. Yeah. Not inside each other. Real quick, my boobs are leaking. <laughs> okay, good. Good, good. They just started... I'm like, I call it my spidey senses are tingling. <laughs> uh-huh. They just started being like, ooh, <laughs> where's the baby? Yeah. Anyways, um, but... I never knew I was an ugly sleeper <laughs> until oh. one of my exes told me. And I was like, how many fucking people have woken up to me like <laughs> fucking sleeping terribly? I think I have woken up to you and your eyebrows do this thing. I know. <laughs> or you look sad <laughs> and also concerned. <laughs> I know. I have like they a permanent think- crease. <laughs> Go up, but also like a little crinkle, and your mouth is open, and so you just look like you're intently listening to someone tell you a sad story. <laughs> That's how you sleep. I'm depressed even in my dreams. Mm. Corey was like, "Yeah, you sleep like you. I mean, <laughs> miss you sleep. me sleep." Wait, I didn't see you awake, and I only know <laughs> sleeping you. I don't know. If I'd be here. I was like, so someone once said that I was the ugliest sleeper they've ever seen. What do you have to say about that? Like, and he would be like, fuck that guy. And he was like, you're not the prettiest. <laughs> oh. I was like, that's fair. Well, it is what it is. Yeah. It is what it is. God, I'm so glad there's I anything that we want you to learn. fucking marrying me because <laughs> Harry Buckrack and Sleep Face, I'd never get Oh, anybody. those were, that's a test right it there. Is. And he passed mm-hmm. most of for better and butt crack. <laughs> for better and hate. Oh, okay. If you guys don't know, I guest hosted on For Better and Worse. Yeah. And it came out last Friday. So it's out now if you want to go listen to it. I don't know if the YouTube's up. Um, but you can check. And while you're there, you can watch the other ones. But um when we were trying to talk about like our our union of a name, she was like for better in tangents and i'm like ladies and worse <laughs> Love that we are ladies and worse and we just kind of fought over who was the and worse yeah. but anyway thanks guys for hanging out that's yes. that on some common misconceptions yeah. if you have any common misconceptions that you would like to share with us leave them in the comments below or something Please. or uh join our facebook page yes. ladies and tangents and you can share some there if you feel like it yeah um When's this coming out? Oh. And if you haven't yet and you're interested, want to treat yourself a little bit, we are having a virtual live show with Moment House. It is December 7th at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. Yes. In the middle of the night where some of you are. (laughs) But it will be up for 72 hours. Yes. So you will have access to the live stream if you miss it for whatever reason. Um, Um, We have after show options, after party options. mm -hmm. We have merch options. Yes, we do. To add on. So go check that out. It's momenthouse.com slash ladies and tangents. We hope to hang out with you there. We're going to be doing some um, gingerbread house work. Yeah. We're also going to be doing some fun some of your favorite segments yeah 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 we have a lot of very fun things planned so yes so we hope to see you all there thank you so much for hanging out guys um we love you yeah and we will see you next week all right we are out goodbye